Hi guys, uh, Blades of God checking in here. Got a little bit of a different stream for you today. I'm going to be teaching my wife Hi. how to play Gears of War. Uh, she's never played any video game before, any video game before but uh, she wanted to be supportive of uh, Hammer Bros Gaming, so we're going to be seeing what it's like to play, play Gears of War with the wife. So... We're going to get into it here. I think we're going to just do some uh, beginner horde just to get her used horde. to playing. So horde is basically um, you fight enemies and they just keep coming in wave after wave after wave. Okay. And the different... So we'll play on an easy map. Um, that's pretty easy to hold out on. Okay. And... Get rid of all these difficulty multipliers. Thank you. Yep. And then if you go over to your character and push A on the character model, which is the green button. Yeah. yeah. Oh, push it again. And then you can pick who you want to play as. And each character has their own unique ability set. Um, because you're. Say that there or no? So some of the information is on the screen on the right hand side. Okay. And some of the characters are leveled up because it is one of my. Um, dummy accounts, so like he's a level 3, level 4, and that means they have more skill cards and abilities unlocked. Ew, I'll go with him because he's Okay. So if you scroll oh, to the right. Do again, I have any level 12 or no? No, I think level 9, 8 and 9 are your highest. Okay. Um, and go to the right again, and then you'll push A. And these, the ones with the check marks, are what you have for equipped abilities. Um, so you're he is an engineer, which means he plays basically more of a support role. Oh, okay. Perfect. Um, so, but actually, I, I would suggest you play as a character with increased health to make you better, more survivable. Do I, go, do I push so B? So push B, and then go back to the left to the character model, push A, and Kate in the top oh, left. The one I was playing earlier? Okay. Um, yep, she has a card for increased, uh, or a ability that gives her increased health. So go to the right again. We're going to look at her abilities. And let's see. Those are the only ones that are on the right now. So that's probably actually pretty good. Okay. So push me to back out. And I'm going to do the same thing and set up my character. Which... Uh, He's already level 13. We'll just stick with five. No, nope, we're going to go fast. Pause. That's good. We'll just go. Okay. So. Five is out there. That's workout pause. Um, so basically what happens is every time an enemy is killed, you're going to see a glowing yellow pool, I guess would be a, a good way to put it. And that's energy. And when we pick up energy, it's split up between the two of us, whoever gets it. And that gives us the ability to purchase upgrades for our characters. Okay. All right. So you aim with left, shoot yep. with right. Yeah. Reload with right bumper. Yeah. I'm still going to be asking you while we're playing. Oh, I know. <laughs> but I just want to give you a little bit of a pre-teach. Um, move with your left stick, aim with your right yes. stick. And if all else fails, just do your best and have fun, because... I'll be running around. <laughs> that's fine. Am I the on nice the bottom thing, again? Yep, you're going to be on the bottom. Okay. Oh, so don't push Y, because Y activates your special ability, and for Kate, the character you're playing, mm -hmm. she can turn invisible uh -huh. for a short period of time and get up real close to certain enemies and execute them. So I'm going to actually set this up. You turn around, you're, you're kind of trapped in that room right now. You're stuck in that room. There's, you see the doorway to your right? Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. That's where you go. Right here. But I'm going to set this up in a way that if things go bad, you can actually run back into this room and enemies won't be able to get in here. Okay, is this the place where you, you were playing that... Um, 
Uh, nope, similar map. That was when we were playing Gears 4, and uh, I can't remember the name of the map. Aftermath, maybe? But, yeah, anyway, so you can only get in right now because this takes up so much of the doorway, you can only get in on this side. If you're looking at my screen. And, oh, well, we're playing regular four. Right, that's okay. You might, you might want to come back, enemies are going to spawn over there. Okay, we're here. <laughs> okay. Or you're going to get on the wall. So of course, yep, there you go. They're shooting at you. There's one right in front of you. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. There's another one right in front of you. Okay, cool beans. Cool beans. So these are all of your allies. All the guys up here with us on the stairs are the good guys. Okay. See that guy? All the red arrows right now are showing you where the bad guys are. Oh, okay. Remember. Left trigger to aim. Oh, you might want to move back because you're getting back. Okay. So right there. Oh. Well, you survived wave one. Oh, I did? Okay. So, like I said, um, if you look on your scorecard on the bottom left, it says score, carrying, and fabricator. Carrying tells you how much energy you have. So if you push Y right now, you're going to be able to open up your perks window. The top, if you push up on the D-pad, it gives you more health. Um, down gives you more shotgun damage. You have to push Y each time. And actually, you don't have enough energy to buy another perk right now. So, you want more health. Okay. Remember, you can switch. You do have a shotgun on your back that you can switch to. Turn to your left. There's an oh. There's an enemy coming down the hallway right there. You can shoot. Oh, he's got it. So straight ahead down the stairs to the right. Turn right. And you hit fire. You gotta kill! Oh, so dead! <laughs> Five left! They're rushing! Well, you might still get one Yeah. Alright, there's a guy coming. See the little red arrows? Yes. Use your right stick. You got another kill! Oh, hey, good, okay. good, good, good. I almost died. No. Not almost. I did die? No. No, you, didn't, you barely took any damage. Oh. Those little rolly things are called trackers, and there's two types, explosive and electric. And the electric ones get right up next to you and blow up, and then they end up stunning you. Okay. Another wave down. And another so right now, before the next wave starts, yes. aim, left trigger, yes. and now just move the right stick around so you get used to doing that to try to find okay. your enemies. So well, you I don't have to remember that. I know. It's the first time you've ever played a video game. I am. You got two kills and survived two waves of four. I think you're doing pretty darn good. Right, I'm just gonna stay right up top here. Okay. Or should I move somewhere? No, you I do. Move? You you do whatever you feel comfortable with. Yeah, if, sure. If okay. That's, if that's a thing. Nope, that's a good guy. Oh. So the blue guys, basically, they're bad guys if they're shooting at you. So see the ones running at you now? They're ba they're more or less going to always have red on them. Remember, look down to okay. the floor. Mm -hmm. I'm just, just a moment, not berating, not giving you a hard time. Stop, stop shooting to do this ammo. You do refill a little bit of ammo. Really good question. You do refill a little bit of ammo, um, but if you are running really low, then there's boxes right there. Should pop up. 
Oh, no, it's right there. It should say ammo on the screen. So we're from where you are, turn around completely. Yep, see where it says ammo? Go stand directly over that and you push X and hold X to pick it up. Can I give you more? Oh. Sweet. There's a lot to remember. There is a lot to remember. And it's crazy how much of this has become second nature to me because explaining it to you, I realize how in-depth the controls are for these games. Yeah. Oh. And that's the nice thing, is that we have three computer allies who are also fighting for us. Mm -hmm. So sometimes they'll wipe out the rest of the enemies without us being involved. How many waves are there? So there's two different types of horde variants. There's horde frenzy, which has a lot more enemies per wave, but only has 12 waves. Standard horde, which is what we're playing, has fewer enemies per wave, but goes to 50 waves. Oh. We're not going to make 12. We're not doing all 50 waves. Oh. No. A normal horde match um, with a full team of humans will take anywhere from two, well, an hour and a half to two hours on a low difficulty. Um, and then horde frenzy can take about 45 minutes. But if we, need, I'd like to just maybe get through. Oh, oh you're, not, you're not dead. No. You, okay, so that's called being down but not out. It means that you've been injured but not killed. And if you've got an ally walk over you and push X. You get revived. Oh, I would, you. I would, you're revived now. I would suggest you even look. There's a lot of bad guys right there. Oh. Oh. Don't worry. You're tight. Clean them out. You're good. Thank you. You're very good. Shoot at that guy. If you see the little arrow pop up, see how it shows like the swoopy motion? That means that you're going to get off cover and move forward. If it just shows straight to the side, it means you're going to do what's called a cover switch, which means you change cover positions with minimum exposure to being shot. Hi, there you are. I've, I've been following you. Oh, you yeah. have? Hey, you Make sure you stay safe. Thank you. Just like in real life, you gotta protect people you care about. You always protect your wits. Do you want to change the score? Mine's different. Oh, huh. anyway, it's just a notification that we're streaming. <laughs> So don't forget, um, you've got a bunch of energy saved up. Next round, you can buy yourself some more what's called perks for the increased damage or health or something like that. Oh, that's right. We've got enemies that's okay. There's a ton of stuff that goes into playing these games. So aim. So you get your pistol out right now. You want to switch to something that's one of your main weapons. Yep. Yeah. Big guy to your left. Oh, yay! Try to keep moving though, because if you stay in one place and the enemy is smart enough to find you. Like that big fella, he just found you. started, the enemy is generally going to come from the other side of the map, so you want to pretty much always stay focused with your back to where 
I guess I like to call it space, even though there's nothing really there. Um, so if you can keep in your mind sort of orient yourself with your back to this set of stairs where I am. So orient yourself so your back is always to the set of stairs and facing away from them. Then you'll always have much you'll be more generally pointed towards where the enemies are gonna come from. Okay. I probably won't remember. That's okay. And it's really easy to get turned around and lose track of where you actually are. But if it's easier, we can stay right up here. No, you can. You just gotta go in through this side. Keep trying. I think you can go in right through here. Oh, okay. But. Oh, we got one over there. Oh, we got one staying Oh, we can, but all the uh, the three AI characters are probably going to kill everybody and we'll just sit there quietly not doing anything. We got enemy reinforcements. So come out here and let's take cover right against this rail. Good job. And now push L to aim up over the rail. The left trigger. Yep, yeah. and then oh see there's someone coming down the all right. There, somebody else. Okay. Just give him a second, they're on there. There they are. Someone put me down. Yeah, yeah. You gotta compensate for the gun picking up the three four. Nice. There you go. Good job. Yes, you did. Sweet. Let's have it then. Where are you going? So no enemies will spawn up there. Because this is called the Fabricator and this basically like, grant, like I said, it grants a base and the game won't spawn enemies in your, generally it won't spawn enemies in your base. Also, you're running, if you look at your gun, yeah. you're running really low on ammo. So, you want to go find the ammo box. Oops, that's cool. Turn to your left and look down that hallway because you got an enemy coming in. Let's go kill him. Move forward because your short shotgun has an extremely short range. That's him. You want to shoot him. Make sure that he's centered in your right for when you shoot And use your right stick to turn a little bit and find him there. Did you guys quit. Oh, that wasn't me. That was one of the AIs. Oh, I need to press the Y, right? So, on this, um, after the scoreboard clears, yeah. push Y, and now, like I said, on the right increases your movement speed, down is shotgun damage, up is health, and left is health regeneration speed. Which one should I pick? No. Why don't you go with health and shotgun, alternate between those two? Which so, up is health, yeah. up on the D-pad, mm -hmm. so push up, and then push Y again, Sweet. then down for shotgun, then push Y. And you gotta push Y every time, so you keep doing it up and down until you're out of ammo. Out of uh, energy, I mean. No, but you can only buy perks between waves. So, you probably want to run down and grab a, uh, follow me. I'll show you where to get. See the little silhouette that's coming up? Yeah. Come this way. And, oh, you could actually pick up that little, uh, that little box there. Back up. Yep. You can see the little box on the ground? Yeah. That's called the pilfer ammo. It gives you just a little bit of ammo, but some better than none. So. This ammo. Okay. Now follow me. Or actually, we can go this way, that's fine. 
grunt you can run too fast by holding back. Oh, gotcha. Come down here, good. Remember where that ammo box was? See the blue box over there? Right there, yes. Yeah. Go ahead and grab it so you can get more ammo. I am literally standing right behind you. So. Are we going up the stairs? You can go wherever you want and I will follow. Yes. That's energy. That's the stuff we need to. Oh boy. You are gonna land base for this. Hold away from your hunts and kill me! Well, you did kind of walk right into the enemy base. I'm just you know, trying to do my wife's view and play video and support you. I'm not complaining. And you are killing me. Well, so computer. rude. Computer is trying to kill you. Rude. What's that? That's energy. Good. Nope, you automatically pick okay. it up and you, as soon as you touch it, it picks up. Ooh. So in the map, on the map, this is actually a morgue. You look on my screen, yeah. it's a morgue. And there's a whole bunch, each one of these maps actually has um, in-game morgue, or you activated your stealth camera there. Oh, did not know that. Okay. And I'm back. So you can buy your perks now. Oh yeah. Good to go. Nice. And now you're you see how your kit says carrying you have 928? All of your perks cost at least a thousand. So you oh. can't get any more perks right now. Okay. You can pick that up if you want by holding X. That's basically a big rocket launcher. It's gone. They disappeared from the waves. Time's up. They're here. I'm up here. Incoming flash. Well, you can take cover on that if you want. You can push A to... Right, we can shoot on it. Then push A and you'll leap over. Oh, okay. Headshot kill. Oh, I, um, I did not see, but it's very possible. That's more energy. Sweet. So pick all that up. I'm, I'm working. I'm working. Ah, check this. Dibs. And then look to your left. See where I'm looking? Over the railing here, yeah. there's going to be enemies down there that are going to. The watch where you go. Oh, there it is. Right there. Oops. They kind of got blown up. Sometimes some of the robot enemies will, when they die, they blow up and will do area of effect damage, which takes out surrounding That's called a tri shot. So that has that's a chain gun that has three barrels that rotate and can overheat very quickly, but deals a lot of damage in a very short amount of time. So if you look down here, there's and you're actually out of ammo. See the ammo counts at zero. So switch your weapons to an ammo. I thought I did it. There you go, now you have your shotgun up. Turn around, because he's behind you. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, honey. I know. It's just not working. It's, it's okay, you're learning. Oh, I'm not getting frustrated.
we'll do, let's see, we're on wave, we just finished wave 8, so we can make it through wave 10, I think that'll be a good first, first experience, because then we'll get to see what a boss wave is like, too. What's a boss wave? So they're special enemies that only appear on boss waves, they have a lot more health, they have special attacks, and some, some of them, um, you can only damage them in certain ways. So there's a whole other level of things that you can learn. So okay. Yeah. Nope. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Time's up. Okay. So in the hallway behind us, there's a bad, a bad guy. And by bad guy, the DR one oppressor. Am I going up the stairs or not? Right well, if there's enemies coming from the stairs, but if you want to go up there and start shooting at them, you can. Um, normally, so normally it'll vibrate when you take damage, um, if you shoot, if a grenade or something goes off in your body, it's to help make the, um, player feel more immersed in what's going on. So remember, use your right stick to aim. Am I down? You're down. Now you're back up. So push to your shotgun because you're in both quarters. And then you reload. There you go. Oh, I was doing all that stuff earlier. I didn't just in the battery. Wherever you see enemies. There's no right or wrong place to be. It's not like there's an objective. It's literally survive all the enemies as long as you can. Oops, oh. So if you look down the stairs, you only want to be looking at the ground. You know, you're looking up in the sky. There's a few flying in, but not many. So two enemies remain. There's one right there, just marking. And oh, the other one's coming down the hall behind you. Right, oh, no, oh, no. oh no, oh no. Oh no. Okay, I gotcha. Thanks. Yeah, it's a lot to keep track of. It is. And when you have something that's right in your face, it's hard to... It's hard to remember what mm -hmm. everyone is. Yeah, but you're doing an excellent job. Okay, look down. There we go. So this is the boss wave. So I'm actually going to grab that try shot, and sorry. So gross. <laughs> we so we're scanning left and right. To... Oh, a flock! I haven't seen a flock in a long time. So a flock is actually a whole bunch of little tiny enemies that band together and for some reason all of a sudden can fly. Yeah. The individual units are actually called leeches. And for some reason when a bunch of leeches get together it causes it forms a flock and it can fly. I don't know what the logic is, but then again this whole game was created because somebody thought that hmm, it'll be fun to put a chainsaw on the end of the assault rifle. And literally the rest of the game came into being around that. Oh, you picked up the new gun. Okay, so. yeah. Nice, good job, you downed him. What? But there's a lot more enemies down there, so keep shooting. Below your 
You want to make sure you run for blind by that. There you go. Me. You're getting shot. Take cover, push in. There you go. Whenever you can, you pretty much want to take the cover because otherwise you're going to take a lot of damage to the outfit. So if you just push the left trigger now, you're going to pop up over the cover. So you can look down at the end. And down. There you go. Crack him. Crack. Good. And then look here for the you just got a flashbang grenade thrown at you. Oh, cool. So there's another enemy down here. You're right. Oh, you got right. Oh, 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 hey. Just keep her along. I got him. Yes, you did. And there's one more just to the right. You see where he's he just tossed another grenade at us. So, look to the right. Not on the other guys, be careful. Well, there, you completed your first 10 waves of Horde. Sweet. And I think that's probably going to do it for this this time. Oh. And what did you think? I liked it. Yeah? So, yeah. Okay. All right, well, maybe we'll do this again soon then. But we hope you guys enjoyed this little brief teaching the wife how to play Gears of War. And we will catch you next time from Hammer Bros Gaming. This is Blades of God signing off. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, please like and subscribe. You can also check us out on Twitch at Hammer Bros Gaming. I am Blades of God, and until next time, have a great day everyone.